Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today. So I wanted to start with a little story that has a big impact. This is me as a child growing up in the suburbs of Detroit where I used to grow tomatoes and herbs and all kinds of fruits and vegetables in the garden with my mother. And the food that we grew was delicious. It was fresh and we shared it with friends and family and our neighbors. And every one of those tomatoes that we grew found its way into someone's home and onto someone's plate because we grew it and because we cared about it and where it came from. And so while we often think that we tend to our gardens, I actually think that our gardens tend to us. Um, so over the years, I've always carried this garden with me wherever I go. And it provides the basis for how I think about food and how I believe that people should be a part of the process of growing their own food and sharing it with others. So as it turns out, I ended up moving away uh, to the city uh, into some really remarkable cities. So a few people have mentioned today, um, more and more people are moving to cities. So I wasn't alone in moving to the city. Um, and as you can see by 2050, about 50% of global populations will be moving to urban areas. And this is unbelievable. It's, it's exponential growth. And, you know, instead of looking at this as something that's kind of frightening in the way that we're using our natural resources currently, in some ways it is, um, this can also be looked at as a tremendous opportunity for us to impact change. So most people living in cities have no idea what's going on behind the scenes to let them live in cities. And so what we're saying is, can we look at ways that we can all participate in a small way towards this shared future? So I believe this is extremely important, and especially looking at something like our current food system. Um, so we use genetically modified seeds to grow crops that are resource intensive and designed to live for travel rather than taste. And as you can see during the supply chain, uh, there's a tremendous uh, amount of middlemen in between. And we end up losing about 50% of our produce going from farm to table. And in the process, because our fruits and vegetables are actually picked pre-ripe, we end up reducing the nutrient content and flavor. And so by the time it gets to us, at the end of the day, we often end up with really bland tasting produce. And I'm sure many of you have experienced that with bland tasting tomatoes, for example. Um, and it doesn't stop there. So around 70% of our global fresh water goes to industrial agriculture. That is a tremendous amount of water. We heard a little bit about this earlier today, that all of these things are interconnected. And over the last 30 years, we've seen a 350% increase in diabetes rates, which is astounding. So I ask a very basic question and a really important one, which is how can we provide quality food to a growing urban population? So Sprouts.io started as the seed of an idea in order to bring my garden from the suburbs into the city. So this is actually in 2009. I was working with the New York City Parks Department to develop a prototype for the facade exterior tower of buildings. I then moved on at the MIT Media Lab um, to do some research in a more lightweight system that could be used indoors. And we tested this with the Boston Public School System and a group of middle school students who were growing inside and outside at the same time. And the last piece, to, piece of this was the early prototype of Sprouts IO, which you can see here. Over five years of research, oh, I meant to go back. Over five years of research, development, testing, prototyping, working with people, went into making Sprouts.io what it is today. 
And so now this vision is becoming a reality through hard work, through dedication, uh, through love and a lot of tenacity. <laughs> um, so, you know, this is, this is something that I've been working on, have a passion about, and it's touched many people in the process. Um, so Sprouts.io is very personal. So with Sprouts.io, this is just like the garden that you remember, but closer. So as I mentioned, today, living in cities, we have access to so many things. You can post a text, you can receive a package, post an update, everything comes to us very quickly. But at the same time, we don't understand the source of where these things are coming from. And with food, source is everything because quality is transparency. And so with Sprouts.io, we're giving you all of the joy of eating, of sharing, food with your friends and family, but making it easier to do that with no kind of mess or fuss involved, and you can grow year round. Um, so we've developed a soil-free system that's easy to use, simple to maintain, and it can be controlled right from your mobile device for all of us who have a very active urban lifestyle. And what we've created is something called personal produce. And this is on-demand produce wherever you live, work, and play. So with personal produce, we're changing perspective and we're looking at a different scale. So this is looking at how a small scale solution can actually create a big impact. So for a second, you could think about this in terms of going from the mainframe to the personal computer. Um, at that period of time, no one really understood why personal computers were so important and what it was going to mean. But now we carry them in our pockets, all of us. And so what this did is create a way for us to access information that was personalized to the things that we cared most about, the things that mattered most to us. And so with personal produce, we're doing the same thing. We want to create an experience around food that matters most to you, you specifically. And so we're trying to bring people into this feedback cycle. So with personal produce, we're bringing you closer than you've ever been before to your produce. And we're using 2% of the water and 40% of the nutrients that are typically used in standard agriculture. Um, and the idea is to create a process that makes it transparent for people to grow their own food and understand exactly where their food is coming from. So as opposed to the kind of standard agriculture that we see today, now we're looking at how we can create, through Sprouts.io, a system that produces quality food for people in urban areas. And most importantly, Sprouts.io is designed to integrate into your lifestyle. We don't think you should have to settle for bland produce um, when you can have fresh, delicious produce available at your fingertips wherever you live, work, and play. So you can just pick it straight off the vine. And it's easy to use. You just insert the seed pod that includes select seeds and nutrients, add water, and you can automate the settings so that you can use growing profiles for specific types of plants. And Sprouts.io rec recognizes what type of plants you're trying to grow. And then it even reminds you when your plants are ready to harvest. And for more advanced growers, you can actually specialize and customize in great detail how your produce is grown. So, you can know, you can control, you can adjust, and you can learn over time. And the idea is to create this kind of experience around growing and give people the ability to kind of tailor how they're growing their food. Oops. And this even moves to the scale of the chef. So chefs who have the most kind of discerning eye for incredible produce, Personal produce even supports this kind of produce, quality, delicious produce. So Sprouts.io is designed to be shown in the front of house, and it can even be used for production in the back of house, as you're seeing here. 
So Sprouts.io is designed with high technology in mind, and it's at the root of every Sprouts.io system. So as you can see here, I'll go over th some of the different parts. So we've included high efficiency LED lighting that's attuned to plant growing, but it also is pleasant for the human eye. So some of you may have seen plants growing in purple lighting. Well, we've designed it so that it's friendly for both people and plants to be around. Plant imaging, so we record images of the plants growing over time, which can be um, data logged and used for image recognition and also for health monitoring of the plants. The adjustable lamp arm allows you to actually change the height of the lighting um, based on how large the plant is and what kind of plant you're trying to grow. And as I mentioned, this renewable seed pod uses time-release nutrients and specialized seeds. So you can grow anything from berries to bok choy in the Sprouts IO system. Um, one of our core technologies is our expandable hybrid hydroculture system, which uses both aeroponic and hydroponic growing techniques. And it's really dependent upon the type of plant that you're growing and what stage it is in the growing cycle. And also, we've designed this so that it's really easy to maintain. So you can just pop this into your dishwasher and it's easy to clean. It's also created from a durable aluminum sleeve that provides stability. And we have our primary sensor console that, reco that records temperature, humidity, water level, and even nutrient content. So you can create growing profiles that are specifically tailored to the types of plants that you're growing in the system um, for specialized produce. The fog misting device provides a very kind of uh, very fine nutrient mist, and, and you can actually see this, it's pretty incredible to behold, that's ideal for plant growing. And we also have our main control, which includes both Bluetooth low energy and Wi-Fi connectivity. So you can have one Sprouts IO unit, or you can have multiples of them paired with one another. You can have them in your home, you can have them in your office, and all of it's controlled through your mobile device. And what's incredible about that is that you can be controlling it, you know, I have my system in Boston, I can be controlling it here while I'm in London. And all of that information can actually be shared among all of the Sprouts.io users. So it's not just about you growing, it's about growing with all of the other people who are growing as well and sharing that information with one another to grow better. So as I mentioned, every aspect of Sprouts.io is designed and considered. Um, and I invite you all to come and check out Sprouts.io. It's in the test lab, actually, after the talk. And you know, my partner and I will be happy to chat with you all and, and learn about how you'd like to grow with Sprouts.io as well. And so we believe if one thing matters, everything matters. And that includes our team who's passionate and dedicated, and I feel very fortunate to be working with a great group of people, um, and they continue to inspire me every day. And it's not even just what we do, it's also how we do it. And so we're very proud to be made in the US, and more specifically, we're Detroit made. Um, so we, I end up rubbing shoulders with people who are actually creating auto parts um, in the same manufactories where, or uh, in, the, in the same factories where they're doing manufacturing there. We end up creating micro farms. And so we're repurposing that expertise from the auto industry to create a more sustainable future for the city of Detroit and, and in general. And so we're also incredibly grateful for all of our supporters, which has been amazing. That's actually the, the most amazing part of this whole process is actually getting feedback from people on how they'll integrate personal produce into their life and in ways that I never could have even imagined. You know, we have um, a woman who has an acupuncture clinic and she wants to bring Sprouts IO in to the clinic so that she can help people with a help, healthier lifestyle. Um, we have uh, a woman who's an administrator for an obesity clinic who wants to use Sprouts.io to help people learn, children learn how to grow. Um, we have parents who grow their own food and want Sprouts.io to help 
them grow their own food so they know exactly what's, behind, what's going on behind the scenes with their plants as they're growing. Um, and we also even have another woman who's an illustrator who said that she has such a black thumb that she kills even air plants and so she needs help with growing. Um, and another couple who live on a houseboat and want to be able to grow while at sea. Um, so these are things that we never could have even dreamed before and so it's really exciting to see that and, and for us to grow with everyone as they're learning about and experiencing Sprouts.io. So this is just a little video to give you a bit of a preview of the lifestyle with Sprouts.io. So we believe that some of our most memorable experiences are shared around the di dinner table. And we're doing our part to bring you closer to these experiences because we really believe that this is what matters most. And so just imagine your garden becoming closer to you and bringing you closer to all of the friends and family and food that you love. And at the same time, being able to grow this in cities, sharing it with people, sharing it with your friends and family, this is a really a small scale solution that can have a tremendous impact. Thank you very much. Brilliant project, Jennifer. And we can experience Sprout.io your little capsule yes. just in the networking area. Yes, yeah. So please, everyone, come and come and check it out because we we brought it all the way from Boston, and we love you all to see what it's like and experience it. And so, if one wants to own one, how do you go about that? Oh man, I wish I could even own one right now. Everyone's like, "Can I get one right now?" I'm like, "I don't even have one in my house yet." Um, we are in the prototyping stage. We're actually about to enter our beta testing program. So if you are interested, please sign up actually on our website because over the next three months, we'll be testing it with people, sending it to people, and getting feedback. Fan, bad. And how much is it going to cost per unit, do you think? <laughs> we haven't released that yet. Um, that's to come. <laughs> Four digits, three digits? Uh, think about it in the, in the range of a nice appliance for your home. Fantastic. Great. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Thank you.